Hello, my name is Justin Urquhart Stewart, and welcome to my weekly or regular commentary on various items happening in the market. Of those who've been here before, good to see you again. Those that haven't, well, you're very welcome. So today, what do I want to talk about? I want to highlight actually something that has already happened in the markets and something I think we should be taking advantage of and really quite soon as well. I get very annoyed when I have to deal with the politicians the entire time burbling on about how they've got an instant recovery to what's happening. And of course, they love simplistic ways of getting out of it. And of course, the normal simplistic way of trying to do so is to come up with, say, something like a letter of the alphabet. So we're going to have a V-shaped recovery, which is hardly surprising because when you see something collapse, it tends to bounce back up again. It's really what happens after that that's more important. So if it's not a V, then maybe another bit of the alphabet, perhaps it's a U-shaped recovery, uh, extended U-shape, or they, they then call that a bath-shaped recovery, or is it then actually a W-shaped recovery? Oh, any more letters you can come up with. There's one that I find of particular interest at the moment, and that is actually a K-shape. And it's actually nothing to do with the economic recovery itself. It's actually more to do with actually what's happening in the markets and the indices. Now, the particular index that always interests me is actually the S&P 500, obviously, in your own country and the States, because of the breadth and depth that it's got inside it. Actually, the Dow Jones is a little interest to me. It's an old-fashioned index full of sometimes quite old businesses. The NASDAQ, we know what that is, much more tech-laden. But the S&P 500 shows us a very interesting element because we've seen a very significant rise so if we take the vertical line of the K being in February this year, then we can see what's happened to the various sectors and really quite dramatic. So the top line of the K will be made up of say the consumer discretionaries, which have gone up by 15.5%, then closely followed by information technology up by 13.6%. And then communications, telecoms, things like that, up 4.2%. That's all pretty good. But that also leaves an awful lot of other areas which haven't really participated at all. So in terms of property or real estate, minus 13.3%. The old-fashioned utilities, always a good background uh, value, well, minus 15.5%. So this isn't just a matter of not catching up. These are actual minus figures. So actually gone back quite a considerable way. The banks, financials, minus 21%. And of course, the energy companies, minus 34 percent. Now what this means therefore we've got a huge differentiation and these value stocks are now actually they were pretty you know below value before now actually far better value. So it's interesting to see when you see where the recoveries actually come from and it's in a very very narrow line of stocks. Apple and that's gone up by 60 percent this year and it's even overtaken Aramco the Saudi Arabian national oil company in terms of value. But it's, you look at uh, what's happened with Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet, which of course is Google, and Facebook. So it is really quite remarkable that actually a quarter of the S&P 500 rally is just down to those companies at all. And when you actually look at the value of those and what's happened, it works out at about seven trillion, seven trillion pounds, or obviously slightly more in terms of dollars. And what does that give you in terms of how can you measure that? Well, Mind you, it's always quite difficult to measure a trillion anyway. A trillion, of course, is 12 noughts. I can't even get it on my calculator. But seven trillion, well, actually, that means that effectively that's the entire value of the Japanese topics index. Or put it another way, two times the value of the entire UK economy. It's huge. So why do I mention this? Well, the answer is these value stocks are at a pretty solid discount now. And value has not been given us great returns. But at these sort of times, it could give us, I think, better medium term returns. So look at the value. And I think there is value in value. It won't be immediate, but I think a good medium term play. Good luck and stay healthy and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye.